have had about 30 seconds to digest this news. But Stephen A., what is your reaction? Um, I'm somewhat surprised, but only because of the timing. I anticipated that it was something that would probably happen at the end of the season based on what I was hearing, not during the season. Uh, the fact that it happened during the season, although I know Derek Fisher, I'm fond of him and I'm not happy for him that this happened. Uh, as a Nick fan, what I like about this is that this shows me that Phil Jackson is not playing games, that there's a certain level of expectations that were not being met. And based on that, I think this is a good sign for the New York Knicks moving forward. Derek Fisher obviously never coached a day in his life before Phil Jackson gave him this job. Phil Jackson gave him his job because he was a point guard, because of his temperament, because of the fact that, you know what, okay, I give you this job. You're familiar with the triangle offense. We can learn as we go along. Uh, uh, obviously, that wasn't his first choice. His first choice was Steve Kerr. And then Phil... And, and, Derek Fisher was believed to do little to no coaching last year at all, where other coaches in the league looked around and was like, what the hell is going on here in terms of the plays that were being run, um, they, their fixation on a triangle offense, in-game adjustments, things of that nature. But everybody understood the man had never coached before. This year he stepped out a little bit more. But again, when Brian Windhorst alludes to, alludes to that transition between player and coach, Skip, ultimately it brings us to what I really wanted to bring up, and that was the whole incident with Matt Barnes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, people are not going to talk about it. You know, it's sort of like taboo, but it's understood, Skip. Trust me, as somebody that's been covering this league for two decades, you know I've spoken to my share of folks. It's one of those situations where you don't really have to speak on it, but at the same time, to find yourself in that situation where you actually were dealing with the wife yep. of one of your former teammates, right. that, that, that left a bad taste in a whole bunch of people's mouths. Now, you feel Jackson, you're obviously not going to react to something like that per se, although it's something that's frowned upon. You've got one day off. You told the Knicks organization you were flying to L.A. to see your family when it turns out you were with her. That obviously was not a good thing. But you can move on when you see the team playing hard and the team is winning basketball games and they seem to be playing hard for Derek Fisher. But losing nine of your last ten games with the talent that they have, the New York Knicks are not a great team, but they give you a lot of energy. They have enough talent on their squad to avoid losing nine games over a ten-game span. Porzingis has been very, very impressive. Melo is still, you know, hobbling or whatever, uh, but, 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 but Lang and Galloway and these boys playing as hard as they do. Mm. You just can't have that going on, particularly when you have the backdrop of what Derek Fisher went through. Now, again, I've been on the air, so I don't know all the things that I'm going to know tomorrow yep. and in the days to come. But I know what I had been hearing prior to today in terms of folks being a bit distant from him to some degree and him sort of adopting that bunker mentality to some degree about, you know what, I got a job to do and just hunker down and do that. But he seemed a bit distant. And remember, he was also the president of the Players Association. And there's a lot of guys that have a lot of animus towards him because of what they deemed yep. his leadership to be when he was the, player, the president of the Players Association. So to have that and Matt Bond situation combined with the struggles, mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Mm. I'm not surprised. So am I reading Stephen A. Smith correctly, lifelong Knicks fan? You're not all that unhappy with this move, right? As much as you no, like not, Derek I, I, Fisher, as much as you like right. him personally, as a you're fan. okay with going forward with whomever. Maybe Luke Walton, well, it, well, maybe Brian Shaw, maybe I, Kurt Rambis. I don't know. Well, well I know it. Uh, listen. Listen, no disrespect to Kurt Rambis. I know he knows the game of basketball. Love He's it. a very nice man. Yeah. I wish him what I wish him luck. But the man's record was 32 and 132 in two years as a head coach in Minnesota. Now I understand that you can't win when all you got is Kevin Love. Yep. Okay. And a bunch of other supplementary parts in the Western Conference. But to be a hundred games under 500, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna celebrate the fact that you're my new head coach. Having said all of that, I do wish him luck. 
and I hope that he does well because when he coached the Lakers in 98-99, he did go 24-13. and yep. But that was with Shaquille O'Neal, Glenn Rice, mm -hmm. Eddie Jones, and a young Kobe Bryant. This is different. We'll see what happens. But, again, it, 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 I, I don't mind that Derek Fish is gone because he had no coaching experience, Skip, and he was climbing an uphill battle to begin with. He was. Combine that with the other things that I mentioned. Mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that Phil made this move because it tells me Phil Jackson is not playing. Not he playing. believes that this team could be better, and that's all I wanted from Phil. I'm very impressed with what I've seen from Phil Jackson mm -hmm. this year. I was wow. mad at him last year. Yes, I'm very were. impressed with what I've seen from him this year. Okay, my initial reaction to this, when somebody ran in and threw this <laughs> down on the, the desk, news. I was like, what? Derek Fisher is fired? And then... I started to look because I watch the Knicks a lot and it seems like they play their tails off for Derek Fisher and they hang in every game. But I lost track of the fact they have lost nine of their last ten games, including five in a row. And I lost track of the fact that they were once upon a time 22 and 22, which had them only a half game out of a playoff spot. And then last week, as they began to tailspin, in part because they haven't had Carmelo. Remember, he's missed five of the last 14 games with various knee issues. But I, I thought w w last week when Derek Fisher said, I'm more worried, I'm, I'm paraphrasing his quote, but I'm more worried about the process than about making the playoffs. At that point, you have to sit back and say, gee, I wonder how that played with a Phil Jackson who's under some fire, from you especially, to do something. Let's go forward. Let's at least make the eighth playoff spot. Make, you know, at least get a little playoff, you know, get our feet in the water a little bit. And all of a sudden, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, even if they have Melo and Porzingis. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to pull it off unless they have a big turnaround under a new coach. I, I like Derek personally, and it looked like they were playing hard for him. But now I have to get back to what you broached, the subject of... Of what happened in L.A., it, it was a bad look for the franchise. And if you start losing games on top of being on notice for what happened in L.A., the altercation that ensued with Matt Barnes, not a pretty sight. If you are the face of the franchise coach, you, you better win or you're not going to get away with that one. And so clearly it is time now in Phil Jackson's eyes to move forward with the next level coach. So which way do you want to see them go? Do you like what you saw from Luke Walton in, in the place of a Steve Kerr? Yes, I did. I did um, too. Luke, Walt, Luke, Luke Walton deserves a lot of credit for the job that he did, but I think we all need to pump the brakes just a touch because I'm not going to lie to you, Skip. I mean no disrespect whatsoever. I think Steve Kerr is a good man, and I think he's done a sensational job. I just don't know how much coaching is actually involved when I watch the Golden State Warriors play because I think that they're just sensational. Now, I'll give the coaching credit in terms of a philosophy where you're spreading the floor and creating that level of space, particularly with Clay and Steph Curry out there. I think at Draymond Green, yep. somebody has helped him improve. Andre Iguodala playing the role that he's played, somebody has something to do with that. So I'm not trying to imply that Steve Kerr or, or, or Luke Walton hasn't done anything. I just don't know what to make. Steve Kerr is fine because his pedigree speaks for itself. I don't know what to make of what Luke Walton did based on the run that they were on because I see more talent than I see actual coaching when it comes to the Golden State Warriors. But his record does warrant strong, strong, strong consideration. Well, I will he, acknowledge look, that. We, we can say that he didn't mess it up, right? Because he, yeah. no he didn't mess it up. No question. Which is which is which is what we were never able to say about Phil yeah. because Phil took off a good team that Doug Collins left him. So Phil took over a good team that he inherited in L.A. True. But he didn't mess it up. Mm -hmm. and elevated it. I got to give credit to Luke Walter for that. And again, Phil Jackson will address the media later today. Kurt Ram is the interim coach, and I'm looking forward to revisiting the subject tomorrow when we have more information, can digest it. You guys can talk to sources, do all your homework. And Magic Johnson And Magic will comment. be here, yes. Yeah. And that will be uh, wonderful if he can weigh in on this as well. We switch gears back to post-Super Bowl subject here. It wasn't exactly vintage Peyton last night, but Manning collects his second Super Bowl title in Santa Clara. How will Peyton's run to this Super Bowl affect his legacy? Two rings, not one now. We'll discuss that.